You join me outside Liverpool Lime Street Station and today we're going to be looking around Arriva Merseyside's Lewis Buses. Yes, hello boys, girls and all awesome my name is Lisa Michaela and welcome to Liverpool City Centre. Today we're going to be looking around some of the newest buses over here in Arriva, uh, for Arriva in Merseyside um, and this will include both uh, 71 plate and 72 plate examples of vehicles. We'll be looking at the brand new street decks that have been introduced over this way um, as alongside some of the new street lights over at Southport and finally the B8RLE MCV Avoras, which is the newest type that Arriva are investing is in. And actually, ironically, as I say all this, passing me now will be one of these street decks. So the first new fleets that came in were these those new street decks and some dealer stock street lights in the, the back end of 2021 and into 2022 in the form of 71 plate examples. These were to replace uh, the commanders in the case of the street lights um, and also some shorter wheelbase buses, but also with the street decks to replace some Enviro 400s on the routes 10 and 10B, although they now do various other routes as well, to move those Enviro 400s onto other routes to take out some of the ALX 400s that were still in operation over here. Um, it's also allowed for the Enviro 400s to standardize the fleet a bit more and to go to other depots where necessary. Alongside this, the street, uh, the street lights um, were introduced in Southport mostly for local runs and they were a mixture of wheel forward and door forward examples. So today we're going to be going in a bit of a different order than I was planning originally. We're going to do a street deck first heading down to Liverpool Queen Square. We're then going to follow up that with obviously, there'll be other buses in between these by the way, but then we're going to try and get towards a B8 RLE and explain why that is probably the most interesting part of these new fleets. And then we'll be finishing up with the street lights and at the very end we'll be discussing the next new buses that will be coming to Arriva very very soon. Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough, so let's head down to Queen Square bus station and get on board our first new bus of the day. which is one of the new 34 street decks in the fleet. These are, of course, micro-hybrids, which are the new sort of standard diesel uh, in the right selection when it comes to buying new vehicles. And these are 71 plate examples, DG 71, which is an interesting reg plate, because I don't know if I've ever seen DG regs are like private ones for the NG bus. So apparently these are one of the new plates that they do, but they like my number plate nerdiness aside. These are mostly used now on the 10B and the 14. A few do also make it on routes like the 8, the 9, um, and a couple of other routes based around Heighton. Um, but the actual 10 doesn't actually get these now. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but the 10 will be getting some of the newest buses, which we'll discuss at the end. Um, but these definitely were new, at least for this route and the 14, for sure. Um, and I, I don't know if I actually said at the beginning, but these actually replaced um, a number of the Trident Enviro 400s, in fact. And that was what these were mainly to replace. And I got that wrong, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, we're on this one uh, from the port up to Highton bus station. And when we get to Highton, um, we'll then jump on a different bus back. So we'll one of the new ones. These are of course low height uh, street decks. Something standard for Arriva's deckers over the years is that they are low height. I still don't know why Arriva do this. If anyone does know that would be interesting to know. But it is interesting um, that of course with the street decks when they're low height they do feel a little bit cramped on the upstairs. Um, but nonetheless uh, they are very pleasant buses. They're fitted with USB charging, free Wi-Fi um, and even next stop announcements.
so I've jumped off at Westmoreland Road, which is just round the corner from Highton Bus Station. I'm going to walk around there now and get the next bus back into Liverpool. It is worth noting that this is probably your best place to come if you are after just the street deck specifically. As, as I did mention before, I'm pretty sure every route they do is currently coming into Highton. Um, including the 14, the 15, which this one next to me is actually on, fun fact, um, the 9, the 8, and of course the 10B. Um, however, there is potential, as with all Arriva services and vehicles, that they could end up on any sorts of routes, especially on Sundays. But as I said, from here we're going to head back to Liverpool on the next available service, and once we've done that, I'll then jump on the next interesting bus. But we'll see if we get another street there back or something more interesting or different, I guess. Anyway, after bus station we go. and 27, these Shearwater Circulars, um, out of Liverpool Park bus station. Now, interestingly, these were specifically for that route, but only until the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic hit. When that hit, um, allocations went up the window, and ever since then, these have not returned to that route. The route now getting double-deckers instead. Um, I believe the amount of people using those routes went up post-COVID, which was a bit interesting, unlike a lot of areas. Um, so these have now found themselves on various other routes, including the 8 and 9, where they do regularly turn up alongside the new street decks and various other routes as well. We're using this route back from Highton bus station to Liverpool Queen Square, and once we get back to there, um, we'll then jump on our next brand new type. But this is a new type for me, as I'm still yet to ride on one of these. I've only seen them and uh, taken photos, so it's nice to finally give them a go. It's not a new type overall, but it is for Reeve and Northwest. Obviously, I've used quite a few of these now, um, but these are also the only ones that have ever been ordered for Arriva. Arriva never actually went back to this type after this order. I believe the order was actually made in agreement with Liverpool City Council um, as part of a trial on those two routes, um, and it just never took off, which is a bit of a shame, um, as they do quite suit the livery. Um, but yeah, so this is one of 12 on a batch of the only Enviro 200 EVs ever bought by Arriva. This type is Arriva's new uh, sort of preferred type um, alongside the MMC, the Enviro 200 MMC. They'll be ordering sort of both. The MCV Evora becoming a competitor directly to that type in 2021 when MCV released a short wheelbase version of the bodywork, allowing Volvo to finally provide a shorter wheelbase bus um, with the B7R, the only ever been available on long wheelbase vehicles. 
so it is interesting. I don't know if it was Volvo MCV that we're going to do the short wheelbase part, but the point is, is it is available now, which is fantastic. Um, and these are fitted out pretty much exactly the same as the street decks. Uh, they have USB charging, free Wi-Fi, and they even have a next stop announcement board, although it's not working on this one, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, I'll show you guys around it a bit more. Um, you'll also notice the blue mood lighting. This is more of a modern thing. The MCV do this on all of ours. It's just a really nice touch. Um, something you wouldn't get on the right vehicles. Um, and once we get off this bus at Crosby Village on the 53, we'll then jump on a bus over to Crossland to, to cover then our final type, the streetlights, when we get to Southport. Okay, and we're now in Crosby Village. 3200 has headed back into Liverpool. It doesn't even stop for too long here. It just heads straight back. So I don't actually know where the dual times are on that route because it didn't stop once on the way, but it didn't run late either. So I assume somewhere along the way it does make up time. Anyway, a bit of a sum up on the Evora there. The bus is very pleasant and I do quite like them. However, where am I going now? Just went. However, I would like to point out that there is a couple of downsides to that bus. Number one, specifically on the seat I sat on, I don't know if the whole bus had this issue, but there was a lack of legroom in quite a large amount. I pretty much had to touch the seat in front if I didn't want to just sit bolt upright, which is a bit of a downside. So that was a little bit of a letdown. And the other problem was at the back seat there, because of the like three step system it takes to get to your seat, there wasn't a lot of headroom. If I kept moving my head too far to the right there, I kept whacking my headphones on the side like where the ceiling is. Bit of a weird design in that respect. Um, I would have had just two steps and left the back seats at the same height, but I believe it's to do with the way the engine's laid out in those. So yeah, it's not ideal, but it does work and they are nice buses. Anyway, we're now going to head around the corner there, get the 47, head up to Crossens and we'll connect for a street light there to round the video up. way to Crossens. Um, I didn't go all the way. Unfortunately I've had to rush to get into this video just slightly because I'm currently stripped for time um, as I have got other plans this evening. So I'm going to end the video off here and nip to the spa across the road before jumping on the number 49 back. 
So let's quickly summarize those streetlights and also explain um, a bit about the new buses that are coming as well, which we have yet to see on the road in service. Those street lights, um, now I was told they're dealer stock, but I can tell you now that was not dealer stock. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a dealer stock. Maybe it's like they have multiple now for right bus. Nonetheless, it is some sort of spec that isn't a standard to a Reva. That's because those were bought sort of on the cheap um, with plans in the area of Southport to be to introduce new local services like the F2 and the F4. Um, and also they have now seen use, of course, as well on the 49 service as well basically doing local services between Southport and surrounding areas. Um, the new buses that are coming are going to be in the form of brand new FC EVs or fuel cell buses. That's right, hydrogen buses are coming to Liverpool. Um, brand new Enviro 400 FC EVs are coming to the area. Um, the first one has already been delivered, or the first few have been delivered to Arriva, but they are not in service just yet. They will be running the 10 service when they're introduced, and I believe they are due in May this year. So. When they enter traffic, I will be back in Merseyside to show you guys those and explain why those are slightly different to the ones we've been looking at today. Back to those street lights, I should also mention, of course, they did have USB charging and next stop announcements though, so Arriva have retrofitted some features to them and the order, the batch, the 71 plates were a mixture of door forward and wheel forward examples, which is a little bit odd. Of course, it's time to shout out my Patreons, my super fans over there, Ian R, Colin Barrow and Andrew Meadows, and my one and only YouTube member so far, Wannabe37. If you want to join those guys, head down below, you can find the Patreon link down there, and you can find the join button next to that subscribe button when you click that. Anyway guys, I've been Lucy Michaela. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do make sure to like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, please turn on notification bells, leave any comments down below, any feedback for today's video, and also check out all my social links. This has been Merseyside and its new buses, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now. Unfortunately, I've had to rush the end of this video a little bit, um, just to time due to time. Wow. Unfortunately, I've had to rush the end of this video just.